Hello friends, this is Jerisa. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you some things that I made inspired in the summer. These are things that are a little bit more colorful than what I usually make, but I figured that because the summer is coming, let's just try some color. I'm gonna be showing you how to make some art using some canvases that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm also gonna be showing you how to make a planter with some recyclable items and a throw pillow. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to share it with your friends so that they can become part of the family. And I also wanted to say thank you to all of you that have already subscribed to my channel you guys are adorable and I love reading the comments that you always post in my videos so thank you so much for being so sweet and for supporting my channel I also wanted to say if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you never miss out my videos and so you can become part of the family thank you so much for watching and let's get into the video for this DIY I'm going to be using this can that I had at home and some macrame cord and silicone sticks that I got from Amazon everything is gonna be listed in the description box I'm going to start applying little bits of glue until the whole bottom is covered. Then I'm going to be covering the sides until I'm almost at the top. Then I'm going to leave three small loops so I can attach the chain later. I took a little bit of paint and started to draw some flowers. You can draw any shapes you want. I just like flowers because I feel like it goes with my vibe. I had this old necklace that I didn't use and I just cut three small pieces in the same size with my pliers and added them to the basket. I'm going to use this bracelet to hang the planter. I just covered the whole thing with macrame cord. And then use a little ring from the necklace to attach it to the planter. This is what it looks like in the end. I got these paintings from the Dollar Tree and as I didn't like the design, I decided to make something a little bit more trendy. I started by painting it white with the same paint that I had left from my kitchen makeover. As I always say, use what you have. I gave it two coats of paint and let it dry in between coats. Then I started to mix my paint so I could get this deeper orange. I painted the whole canvas including the sides. I feel like painting is so relaxing. I recommend this to anybody that is looking for something that is going to make them feel more relaxed because I just love painting. I feel like I make so many DIYs with paintings because it just makes you feel so relaxed and you are not stressed when you are doing it so this is why I love it so much. I gave it two coats of paint and let it dry in between. Then I took a small brush that I had from Amazon and I started to make the designs that I wanted. I dipped the brush in the paint every time I was going to make the design so I didn't have to go over it again. If you want some inspiration for some designs, you can also go on Pinterest and choose the lines that you want. This is what I did. I chose a picture and then I started to design everything on the frame. This is what it looks like in the end. I've seen that velvet is very trendy and as I had this fabric that I got from Joann's, I decided to make a round pillow. 
I cut a rectangle of fabric that was 36 inches by 17. Then I started sewing the shorter side by hand. I did the same thing on the bottom, but I put it all together to make the bound shape. And then I sewed it even more to make sure that it was secure and that it wasn't going to break. Then I started to fill it in and repeated the same process again. You have to go through the pillow to give it the round shape, so just go from side to side after you have the filling in there. Then I started to decorate it with some things that I had here at home, like a button that I had and some pom-poms. You can customize this to whatever color or style matches you better. This is what it looks like in the end. I had been seeing rainbow art everywhere and I wanted to make something similar. I painted the whole canvas with a combination of pink, orange and white paint so I could make this really pretty peachy color. I gave it two coats and let it dry in between coats. Then I took some yarn I had at home. I used some tape to hold it on the table because it was way easier like this. I tied the ends and then I distressed it a little bit because I felt like it looked better like that and made a couple of them using different colors. I positioned them on top of the canvas and marked it down before gluing it. Then I just applied the glue first and then the braids. I wanted to add more details, so I painted some small rainbows using this paint that I got from Amazon. This is what it looks like in the end. So these were all the 
things that I have to show you. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next time. Bye bye.